welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making some apples and walnut cake. First of all, um, I cut half of 125 grams of room temperature butter into which I'm going to add one cup of um, custard sugar, which is roughly about eight tablespoons. And what we want to do now is um, just get a fork and cream the two together. Once you've creamed the butter and the sugar together, I've got two eggs to add in, but we're going to add one egg at a time. So just crack up one egg into it and then work this into our butter and sugar. And then once this is all taken in, then we will break the second one. Once you've worked the first egg, then we can go ahead and crack up the second egg into it. I mean, ideally it'd be best to crack the egg into another bowl and then um, crack it in here just in case you've got a bad egg. But we'll just go ahead now and work this egg into it as well. Beating your second egg in, I've now got a cup of um, yogurt. So we've just got a cup of yogurt to put in. And also baking powder. So I've got a packet of baking powder or a teaspoon of baking powder to go into it. And then after that we're going to prepare our apples. We're going to um, cut up some apples to go into our... Okay, um, I'm using two reds and two um, green apples. Once you've um, peeled and cored your apples just um, slice them up into little squares and once you cut them into squares go ahead and add them into your um, mixture to our mixture so I shall finish off my four apples and come back okay so I've chopped up four apples this is a type of dessert and cake that you can use any apples mm. normally it's the granny smith that we use and pies and what have you but in this one you can use any apples so now all we need to add into this now if you haven't got yogurt then by all means use milk so is add some flour and you need to add the flour in gradually just a little bit at a time and then we want to fold our flour in. So just keep on adding the flour and folding it in like so. We want it quite a um, smooth mixture. So like a tablespoon at a time. And just keep adding it in and fold bits like a tablespoon at a time. This is going to be the ninth. So it all depends on the yogurt you've used. It all depends how juicy your apples are. So you just want to keep adding it like a tablespoon at a time and folding it in until it comes together. But not too thick. As you can see, still quite um, juicy. So to me that's... Fine, so I've used what uh, about nine tablespoons, but like I said, it all depends on the apples you've used, it all depends on the sizes, how juicy they are. So just keep on um, mixing it up a little bit at a time until you get a mixture looking something like this. Now, with the walnuts, now uh, we want to crush them, so go ahead and crush your walnuts. Okay, I've decided to cut mine because I wanted more chunky bits. So I've actually gone ahead and just um, cut mine up like so. So once we've um, broken down your walnuts, you want to get another bowl, pour it in there, together with a cup of brown sugar. 
and also some cinnamon. Say about a teaspoon of cinnamon. Butter we had another 125 um, grams. Just to leave a little bit to butter your dish and the rest we want to uh, melt that away. So put it in, into a little pot. I've got a little bit to brush my, um, to grease my tin. I'm just going to go ahead now and just melt this butter. Okay, next I'm just going to put about a tablespoon or so of flour into this mixture with my walnuts, cinnamon and brown sugar. We've got our 125 grams of melted butter. <clears throat> We're just going to go ahead and pour this over our walnuts and just give it a good mix. <coughs> Excuse me. This is going to be our crunchy part of our apple and walnut cake. So that's done. Right, next get your baking tray that you've already buttered. So once you've greased your baking tray that you're going to be using and Pyrex dishes works best for this sort of dessert so just um, give your mixture a mix first and then what you want to do is pour more or less half of this mixture this is such a delicious cake I tell you once you make it you're going to love it Just get it nice and even. Next we're going to get our walnut mixture. Some of this over. So you'll have all this nice crunchy caramelised walnut in the middle. going to go ahead and put okay once that's done, we go back to getting our walnut mixture and then giving it a mix. And then again, we just want to put this all on top, all over, to get all that lovely caramelized, crunchy walnut. So, this is called crunchy apple and walnut cake and it's absolutely delicious I can't wait there we have it it goes in a preheated oven at 180 degrees until it's all cooked let's get it in the oven here we are after half an hour in a preheated 180 degrees uh, oven um, our apple and walnut cake is ready as you can see so so i'm just gonna this is so soft and it's just so lovely with like all these caramelized walnuts As I said, wait for it to be um, cold before you take a slice there, but I'm just going to go ahead and take a slice out just so that you can see. How As 
as you wait for it to get cold it will hold together but it's just so lovely it's like a sticky pudding so soft all those apples inside what I do is mob, uh, scoop of ice cream next to this perfect dessert there we have it apple and walnut crunchy cake care and thank you for watching me Thank you. Bye.